listeners. This is Olorun Toba Kayode. Uh, I welcome you to my YouTube channel, Chemistry Apostle. If you are new in this channel, I want to encourage you to please subscribe so that you can get updates on chemistry practicals, WAEC to be precise. And I want to appreciate all our subscribers. Thank you. God bless you. Real good. WAEC Practical 2022 is here again. And in this video today, I'll be talking about uh, the steps and what this practical is all about. This practical is a special one. Since 2016, WAEC has been bringing uh, redox titration. And this year is also a very special uh, redox titration. My dear lovely student, in this video, I want to tell you that uh, redox titration is uh, a, a, a titration that involves uh, a redundant and an oxidant. WAEC Pratica 2022 is redox titration. Redox titration. And that means that we are going to have a redundant and an oxidant. Okay? It's not a conventional uh, normal titration that we use acid and then that we use base. In this case, we have uh, one of the chemicals that will represent an acid and another one that will represent a base. How will you know the table you are going to form? One, any uh, solution that you fill into your burette, I repeat, any solution you fill into your burette is the one that represents your acid and in this titration in this video citation that you are going to do this year sodium to sulfate will be filled into the burette and that one is the table you are going to prepare whereby iodine solution that is dissolved in potassium iodide will be the one that will represent your base so please take note, the formula for calculating concentration in Mopadium cube still remains the same. But be mindful of which value you are substituting. Is that taken now? Then point number two. I want you to go and read on everything on redox reaction. The definition of oxidation, the definition of uh, reduction, how to balance redox equations how to balance redox equations and more also uh, examples of uh, uh, oxidation examples of reduction then examples of oxidizing agent examples of uh, reducing agent this 2022 WAEC practical you are going to need sodium to sulfate, iodine solution, I mean iodine crystal dissolved in potassium iodide. Then we are going to use a starch as indicator. Okay, sodium to sulfate will be, will be representing our acid because we are going to uh, feed bread with sodium to sulfate. And then we are going to pipette uh, our sodium, our iodine. We are going to pipette iodine solution that is dissolved in potassium iodide, and that one represents our base. Likewise, we are going to use starch as indicator. But note, you are not adding starch at the beginning of the titration. You will add the starch. After you have titrated for a, a, a little while and the color in the solution has changed to yellow, that's when you add your starch. Okay, when the color has changed to yellow, you add the starch. Immediately you add the starch, the color changes immediately to blue-black, which shows, or which shows the presence of starch and the presence of iodine. At the end point, uh, the solution changes to colorless. And that means that you have done a redox titration. 
there's a question some years ago that why we do not use starch at the beginning of this uh, titration the same the answer is not far fetch one to get accurate endpoints we do not use uh, starch at the beginning of this redox reaction because in order to get accurate endpoint if you put it at the beginning we will not get accurate endpoint because remember if it is conventional acid based and acid based uh, reaction we are going to use indicator even before the commencement of the titration but in this case now we are not using starch at the beginning we use the starch as indicator after we have titrated for some time another reason why we do not use a uh, indicator at the beginning of the reaction is that uh, there will be a complex ion formation if we use starch at the beginning of the reaction and that one we are fed uh, the end point we are going to get thanks for watching if you have not subscribed please do in the next episode we are going to do the real titration please stay tuned the procedure and everything about this titration will be displayed here in this uh, YouTube channel, Chemistry Apostle. Thank you so much. See you next week, Friday.